If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and control it. You said you wanted to learn. If you don't learn this now, you'll grow up to be like the two women and the older man sitting in my living room, working for money and hoping I don't fire them. As your cash flow grows, you can indulge in some luxuries. An important distinction is that rich people buy luxuries last, while the poor and middle class tend to buy luxuries first. The poor and the middle class often buy luxury items like big houses, diamonds, furs, jewelry, or boats because they want to look rich. They look rich, but in reality they just get deeper in debt on credit. The old money people, the long-term rich, build their asset column first. Then the income generated from the asset column buys their luxuries. The poor and middle class buy luxuries with their own sweat, blood, and children's inheritance. The Japanese were aware of three powers, the power of the sword, the jewel, and the mirror. The sword symbolizes the power of weapons. America has spent trillions of dollars on weapons and, because of this, is a powerful military presence in the world. The jewel symbolizes the power of money. There is some degree of truth to the saying, remember the golden rule. He who has the gold makes the rules. The mirror symbolizes the power of self-knowledge. This self-knowledge, according to Japanese legend, was the most treasured of the three. All. John D. Rockefeller, who said, I always tried to turn every disaster into an opportunity. He believed that automatically saying I can't afford it was a sign of mental laziness. From Rich Dad Poor Dad, you may recall that Ray Kroc, McDonald's founder, said, My business is not hamburgers. My business is real estate. Robert holds a small portion of his assets in tax lien certificates instead of CDs. Others tell him he shouldn't do this, but they're coming from a place of doubt. They've never done it, and they're telling someone who's doing it why they shouldn't. The lowest yield Robert looks for is 16%, but people who are filled with doubt are willing to accept a far lower return. Doubt is expensive. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something, and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change but themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than everyone else. His father owned warehouses, a construction company, a chain of stores, and three restaurants. Other people pay for my liabilities. They're called tenants. Those who don't learn that lesson spend their lives blaming everyone else and waiting for a big break or decide to play it safe and never risk, or win, big. Rich Dad continued, or if you're the kind of person who has no guts, you just give up every time life pushes you. If you're that kind of person, you'll live all life playing it safe, doing the right things, saving yourself for some event that never happens. Then you die a boring old man. You'll have lots of friends who really like you because you were such a nice hard-working guy. But the truth is that you let life push you into submission. Deep down you were terrified of taking risks. You really wanted to win, but the fear of losing was greater than the excitement of winning. Deep inside, you and only you will know you didn't go for it. You chose to play it safe. The world pushes people around, not because other people are bullies, 
but because the individual lacks internal control and discipline. People who lack internal fortitude often become victims of those who have self-discipline. In 1031 is jargon for Section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code which allows a seller to delay paying taxes on a piece of real estate that is sold for a capital gain through an exchange for a more expensive piece of real estate. Real estate is one investment vehicle that has a great tax advantage. As long as you keep trading up in value, you will not be taxed on the gains until you liquidate. People who don't take advantage of these legal tax savings are missing a great opportunity to build their asset columns. Keep in mind that it's not the asset class that makes a person rich or poor. For example, when a person asks, is real estate is a good investment? I reply, I don't know. Are you a good investor? Or if they ask, are stocks a good investment? Again my answer is the same, I don't know. Are you a good investor?